vertical filming. It's all the rage. Windblown won't work with that much product in your hair, Pat. Hey guys, what's up? Josh Pearson here. Oh man, we're gonna need a kit. I'll grab the My Favorite Sin panel van. I'll grab the candy. So there's an article that's going viral, a picture of a dad that went to Walmart, took back one of his son's toys that he had gotten for his birthday that he didn't care for. So we just got back from the park where we found this little guy. He told us his name was Iron Man the Hulk, but we're just going to call him Johnny. You ever heard the expression, as easy as taking candy from a baby? It's even easier taking a baby using candy. And he let his t son go back to the toy department and choose whatever toy he wanted to, only for his little boy to pick out a little girl's toy, a little mermaid doll. And, well, the dad says, I'm going to let you choose. And everybody's loving this dad in the picture that he posted to Facebook because he's letting his son choose and express who he really wants to be. So, little Johnny, what do you want to be when you grow up? I'm going to be a scientist. Hell no! Really? Since when do kids make good choices? We live in this society that thinks that kids are supposed to make choices like that and that we're not supposed to choose for them. We're supposed to let them express themselves. All right, little Johnny. Do you think you should ever get in a van with a stranger? No. Well, what if they have candy? Yeah. <laughs> yes, nice. Right. Seriously, since when do kids make good choices? If you give a kid the choice between playing in the yard or playing in the street, if he picks the street, are you just going to say, sure, go out there, just have a good time? If you give a, a, a kid a choice, he's probably going to choose candy over peas and carrots. It doesn't mean it's what's good for him. So, Johnny, do you want ice cream for dinner? Yeah. <laughs> well, too bad. You're getting a bucket of fish heads. Why? Because they're full of protein. And it's all we can afford. That's why the Bible says train up a child in the way that he should go. Why? Because kids need to know that it's not just filling, son. What's one plus one? Well, maybe he doesn't say two. Maybe he says, uh, 83. Well, does it feel like 83 to you? Because if 83 is how you express yourself, no. I'm going to tell him the truth. One plus one is two. Don't try to tell our kids how to do math. Yeah, math is for nerds. <laughs> so me, I train up a boy in the way that he should go by teaching him how to use a firearm. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Stand, down. Stand down! Teaching him how to use a gun and proper gun safety. Now let me take that safety off for you. You don't want that getting in your way. No, uh, you don't need the safety like slowing you down in case you feel threatened or someone's looking shifty-eyed. See, my son Samuel, he's learning today as we're in the backyard. And guess what? For all of you liberal, spineless, no good, coward kind of people, since you want to be gen gender neutral, guess who else I'm teaching to use a gun? My daughters. They're learning how to use a gun. Oh, so you're going to be teaching your daughters gun control too? Now who's the liberal, spineless, no good coward who wants to be gender neutral? So Samuel, take that gun right there. You know how to hold it. And why don't you go ahead and hit that target right there and fire. Hit it? Yeah, good. Wait a second, you're just using a pellet gun? Yeah, we use real guns in this household. And don't worry, little Johnny, I already fired off the serial number for you. That way when you got a body on it, you just throw it in the lake. Word. That's gun control, ladies and gentlemen. That's gun control. A boy that knows how to properly fire a gun. I'm going to teach my daughter, too. That's for you, guy who has no cojones, who needs to grow a pair and be a dad and train a child. <laughs> oh! Oh, he shot me! Oh, he shot me! Give me his back! No, you don't! This is a bad idea! Take him back to the park! Come on, Johnny, let's head home. We teach good family values around here, not that sissy stuff that you read on the liberal news media. So we had to get rid of little Johnny. We put a couple bucks in his pocket and dropped him off at the bus station. Left him with a loaded gun. And a bottle of no-dos. The guy with the beard seemed very nice. Santa. <laughs> See, we believe Fierstein is not actually raising his kids in the true biblical fashion. That's right. If you're going to use the Bible as a gauge to how to raise your children, you've got to be willing to go all the way. Balls deep on the Bible. 
For example, in Geometry chapter 21, the Bible clearly states that if you have a rebellious son, you're supposed to take him to the city gates and stone him to death. That's a lot of weed. And then in Problems chapter 13, it states that if you spare the rod, you spoil the child. Beat your kids. And then in Second Things chapter 2, it states that if your kids are making fun of their elders... That you should pray to God to send bears down to maul them to death. Get animals to beat your kids. So Josh, if you're going to pick and choose parts of the Bible to say that another person isn't a good parent, you've got to be willing to go all the way or else you are just another one of these limp dick liberals. Right. So you need to make sure you beat your kids using bears and drugs. And whatever. Hey everybody, hope you enjoyed the video. Did anybody notice a strangely intense look on the kid's face when he was shooting that pellet gun? He's gonna have a rap sheet later in life. <laughs> and check out the creepy look on Josh's face because he's so into it. <laughs> Make sure you click subscribe to watch the rest of our videos. And don't uh, forget to like and share. Absolutely. Check out our podcast at devilsbusiness.net. If you feel like it. Did you click subscribe yet? Now, motherfucker! Do it!